I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, your one-stop shop for living on a Bitcoin standard. Sign up and grab gift cards for eSIMs, gaming, e-commerce, your travel needs, food, and much more, and you can buy them all with Bitcoin and Lightning. Sign up today and use code BTC Sessions 10 for some special perks. I guess the foundation of why I'm bullish is something called BIP85. And so BIP85, what this allows one to do is you can have a seed phrase that has been created. And for instance, on on something like a cold card or maybe a seed signer, and I think some, some uh, other hardware devices allow you to do this natively as well. You can effectively turn that into like a parent seed or a master seed in which you can spit off a bunch of child seed phrases as well. And what happens with these child seed phrases is that each individual child seed that is spit off is in a way segregated from the parent. And what I mean by that is if one of these child seed phrases that was spit off gets compromised, there's no way to work backwards to compromise the parent. And so what you can have and what I've begun to do is you can have perhaps a, a parent cold card or whatever device you, you you decide and you can spit off all of these child seeds and you can use them for various purposes. In my case, I like to use them quite a bit for hot wallets that I'm using. I experiment with a ton of different wallets and honestly, it's kind of a pain in the ass to keep track of a whole bunch of seed phrases all over the place. And every time that I'm looking through notebooks or whatever, and I find a seed phrase, I'm like, I can't remember what this is for, or maybe it was not labeled, or maybe I'm like, what if I get rid of this seed phrase and I find out that an address is somewhere out there and somebody ends up sending Bitcoin to it and I have the horrible realization that there's Bitcoin I can no longer access. Well, that starts to go away when every time you want a new wallet for a random purpose, especially hot wallets, things like that, you generate it through BIP85 with kind of a master seed that you keep very safe. So what I did this week is I was experimenting with Mutiny Wallet and it can generate a seed for you. But instead, what I did is I generated a seed from my cold card, took those 12 words, plunked it into Mutiny. It will be exclusively used for Mutiny. And then I just have a little spreadsheet of what index number or what quote unquote account number was this. And so why do this? What's What the hell is the point of doing that? Well, now for Mutiny Wallet, I no longer need to have an additional seed phrase sitting around. And so what can happen is if I delete the app off my phone or I break my phone or whatever happens, now I go back to my cold card and I say, all right, what was index number six or whatever it was? And it spits out 12 words. And then I pull up mutiny and I hit recover wallet and I put in those 12 words and boom, there it is. But then this is just part of my experimentation this week. So I'm going to break down what I did. This was my experience playing with mutiny this week. Uh, so first I did the BIP85 thing that I'm talking about. I spit out a seed phrase from my cold card. I then, because Mutiny Wallet, it, basically everything is automated in the background lightning-wise, more or less, I was able to just s instantly send a lightning transaction to it and have a lightning channel automatically established with it. Of course, there's a lightning service provider involved. There's a fee to do that. Then I was able to take my NPUB, which is kind of like your public key or your identifier on Noster. And I was able to plunk that into Muni Wallet. It imports all of my Noster contacts as potential contacts that I could send, send Lightning payments to. Then I was able to use another amazing tool called Noster Wallet Connect. So I jumped onto my Noster client on my phone, and I said, "Hey, I'd like to uh, I'd like to integrate my Mutiny Wallet with this." And what that does is every time I hit the zap button, it's actually monetized. You can zap somebody with whatever you want, 10 sats, something like that. And now when I tap that button, it automatically pulls the payment from Mutiny Wallet and it goes to the intended recipient. And then I literally had an integrated, you know, decentralized social media platform on my phone integrated with a native lightning wallet that I didn't have to go through an app store to get that was backed up by my cold card. The fact that I could kind of do all of that stuff and have it integrated and just have it work is amazing. All of these things combined, it just collectively blew my mind on how far we've come with all of this stuff. 
but also how far we have yet to go because I feel like all of the stuff I just described soon will be done with a few clicks and that will be incredible. 